All right, a professor at the University of South Florida has one piece of advice for Olympic athletes in Rio. Don't put your head underwater. Oh, great. That's because a new report says Rio's water contains more than 1.7 million times the viral lever, level rather considered worrisome in the United States. Plus, they've got floating sewage, syringes, and occasional corpses, human and otherwise. Will avoiding dysentery become the newest <laughs> Olympic sport? <laughs> the party panel is back to Anna Zuchinsky, Dave Smith, and Rick Unger. Uh, Joe, triathletes and open water sw swimmers, they have to put their heads underwater right? or they will lose. I don't even know how really to swim like appropriately, but I know like with, you know, the head, <laughs> it has to. Immersion is, a, is an important part yeah. of swimming. Yeah. It, it does. Uh, but what I would do, because some people, this is their only shot yeah. at the Olympics. But you're only there once for some people. So I would go full head in. I would drink <laughs> some of that water and then I'd swim directly to a hospital <laughs> so that they could take care of me. But like you're not going to work any less hard yeah. for that gold medal and to make your country proud. I know, it, but they're, they're saying like if you put your head near the water, you're going to get sick. <laughs> if you get a mouthful of it, you could get really, really sick. And there were some very serious... I think Olympic dog uh, paddle will be yeah, a great they're gonna, event they're gonna have year, to do something because your head's above. No, look, I mean, Dave Zarin has written a great book about this and yeah. talks about, you know, when they went out for a boat tour uh, to be shown how good it is, a dead horse floated oh, by the boat, no. right? Oh. And this is where the water sports are happening. It's outrageous. Water pole? Uh, Did they beat it? I <laughs> know, <laughs> uh, that was awful. Oh, was awful. Okay. I was going to make a mafia thing, but Go whatever, ahead. keep going. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Did she piss off anyone important? <laughs> 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 They cancel the games. They're going to yeah, cancel the games, gonna. Dave. Yes. Well, no, she, you didn't ask me, are they going to? Should they? Yeah. yeah. Okay. If you were, like, if I was going on vacation sure. and someone came out and they said, oh, just one thing on vacation to keep in mind of don't put your head underwater because it's got a thousand times the viral level, I would just cancel my vacation immediately. Times. Yes, we shouldn't be there. No. You know what they're yes, Have you trained your whole life for that vacation? No, but my point is that they, people who train their whole life should be somewhere else. Look, Kennedy, your kids do uh, gymnastics, right? You got right. some future Olympians I got there. Some future Olympians. Do you want to send them off to this crazy? There's no water involved. Well, you know what? Uh, they're they're almost old enough that they could go as alternates, so maybe. A lot of those people <laughs> uh, who have their head underwater are just hiding from deadly mosquitoes. Okay, yeah. just trying to save their and lives. And by the way, since can we just say use this opportunity to point out that Congress left without approving Zika legislation, and now Florida is being hit with it. I just had to get that. Okay, you know you don't need. Congress. Congress to fight mosquitoes. You do. No, you don't. In this That's case, the problem. We rely on government for everything. We need a department of mosquitoes. Do? We don't. What we are need are private do? companies we developing need... solutions and get the government the hell out of the way. Bye, guys.